So g'day fellow banknote and coin collectors and my name is Glenn and today I have some Chilean coins. So these are all the actual coins in circulation and uh, well the light's reflecting off it that's why these ones are on this side. So the coins we have in circulation in Chile, let's get close up, we have the 1, 5, 10, 50, and then we have the 100 and 500 pesos. So, actual 1 and 5 pesos were introduced in 1975 and 1976 respectively. Uh, at, the, at this point in time, in, when this currency was introduced in 1975, um, Chile actually suffered from hyperinflation, and that's why the previous currency, the Escudo, only lasted from 1960 to 1975. And the Centavo coins, are they Centavos? Let's have a look. Yeah, Centavo coins pretty much only lasted from 1975 to 79. And then they were no longer minted. And those ones actually have the, the Indian condor on it. And these coins, like the one centavo, has been minted in this shape since uh, 1992. And so has the five pesos. Sorry, I mean five pesos. Ten pesos, 50 and a, this 100 here were introduced in 1981. So you can see it went from... A one peso coin was the highest in 1975 to a 100 pesos in 1981. And later on, they don't actually have mintage figures on these coins at all. So I'm not too sure why. The earlier coins they actually did. Uh, mintage figures stopped before these coins were introduced. And... In the year 2001, this uh, bimetal coin of 100 pesos was issued, and in 2000, a bimetal 500 pesos. So, on the back of these coins, of uh, the 1 to 50, actually has Bernardo O'Higgins, so it sounds like an Irish name, and he was an independence leader. He was from 1817 to 1823, is classified as a supreme director, which is like a president. And it, yeah, so he was basically president of um, Chile. But some problems happened and he had to abdicate. And then he actually went to Peru where he passed away. And I believe his body's actually been transported back. So. As you can see, the 1 and 5 pesos are 8-sided. So this one's 2008. And I'm not too sure if they've actually stopped issuing the 1 and 5 pesos because they haven't minted them since 2015. But, you know, modern coinages, you know, not minting for 5, 10, 15 years is pretty normal. So they could still be in circulation. But the exchange rate is about... 500 pesos to one Australian dollar, probably about seven to 800 to one US dollar. So the value is actually quite low. So the one that they actually continue to mint is the 10 pesos up until 2017. And here's a larger picture of Bernardo O'Higgins. And these coins are actually in aluminium bronze. And this one is reeded. So this is probably the smallest coin you'll probably find in circulation. Uh, the 50 pesos. In... Oh, how many sides it's got? One, two... Ten-sided. Ten-sided coin. This is quite an interesting coin. This was, as I said, this was issued in 1981. And here's a larger picture of Mr. O'Higgins. That's Republica de Chile. And here we have the San Diego Mint Mark. So it's an S with a, like a dot on the top. And he's in a military regala, regala which uh, should indicate his rank. And also should have some 
like a military decorations as well. And the side is actually quite, I like the security features on this, I think they're awesome. Pretty good. Then we have the 100 pesos. This was issued from 1981 to uh, 2000. This is 1998. And I presume they issued it because uh, the 100 actually gave uh, better security features. And as you can see on the side, it has some wording. Um, now, what does that say? That should say, Por la razón o la fuerza. So it's a bit hard to see on this one. So that's where it's out there. And I know I butchered it. So it starts from there. And there's a start in the middle. And the translation should be by reason or force. So if you cannot reason with someone, then you have to use force. And of course, with getting independence, if you can't get it reasonably, you have to just force it. And have a look at the top there. Up at the top there. Looks like there's something wrong with the flan. It's actually a bit lumpy. So, this might be an error coin. I have to look into that. Doesn't look like it's damaged post mint. Um, but anyway, check your Chilean coins, people from Chile, because you don't know what errors you can get. And these are coin alignment, which means you flip it over north to south like the United States and that's what you get and here we have the coat of arms of Chile so this is Andean Condor and it looks like a type of deer doesn't look like a llama and here's the coat of arms the star and underneath we have the mint mark for San Diego so it's quite a nice coin not bad and then we have the 100 pesos, so this one has a Mapucha Native American Indian and Pueblos, that's where I live, Origiano, so the original inhabitants of the Pueblo. If I have said anything wrong from that translation, please uh, yell at me below, that would be awesome. And here we have a 2006, 2015 there, and these coins are being minted till. 2017 it's the last mintages but it's probably 2018 and 19 as well and it has a face value of a uh, 15 us cents Ooh, not bad i actually quite like it now i'm not too sure where i actually got these coins from um maybe i got them from different places i think i got a few from um uh friends and that but i'm not too sure and in 2015 was minted at the Royal Dutch Mint. Maybe they had a pro some problems in 2014 and 15 because they minted at Dutch Mint. And as you can see, the mint mark is the mint of the Netherlands. And on the other coin, it has the mint of Santiago. So San Diego is actually the capital of Chile. So two different mints. Can you see any differences there? Let's have a look. See any differences? Looks like the Dutch mint is actually a better quality mint. Um, maybe the lettering is actually a bit thinner on the Dutch one than the, on the one minted in Chile itself. Let's have a look at the other side. Any differences? You need, to actually get a good idea of the differences, you need to actually get coins that are in the same grade. These ones are a bit different grade. So, it looks like on the Dutch one, this one, the leaves are further away from the actual side border of the actual coin. And this one, looks like some of the leaves might be up to right on the border. Anyway, then we have the highest coin. This is the 500 pesos introduced in uh, 2000. And this coin, the last mintage was 2018. And it has on the backside, it has a Cardinal Ral Hural. 
Silva Rodriguez. He was a social justice, land reformer, human rights. Got a human rights prize from the UN in 1978. And you might think because he's a cardinal, you will probably a Roman Catholic Church, so he'll probably be a conservative. But from what I gather, I think he was like centre left, so he did have some conservative ideals like celibacy and marriage. But he also wanted social justice and uh, land reform and this is really the correct position that a Christian should actually take because in following Jesus' example he's more like centre left than right wing or even left wing so that's just my take anyway so here we have Santiago Mint very small mint mark it is uh, just milled all around this one's Aluminium bronze center and copper nickel zinc ring. Zinc would have just reduced the price of the actual coin. And this one has a, a exchange rate value of 76 US cents, which is probably a bit over one Australian dollar. And 2008 actually had two varieties. So there's a thick and thin date, small and large mint mark. So I reckon this one is actually the thin date because these circles are actually quite big and now you can tell us the lettering you need more than two and the mint mark I reckon this is a small mint mark so that's a small type they should actually both be quite common um, no, it doesn't actually indicate which one is actually rare. So those are the coins of Chile. So with this 50 uh, pesos, well, all the coins, they do have varieties, like different types of lettering thicknesses and all that. Uh, the 2008 has a really good variety or error. And in Chile, so in Chile, instead of it being a... C H I L E has C H I I E. And that should be a rare variety and actually it should actually get a good price if you um try to sell it. Uh, I've seen it go for a few dollars on eBay but I really haven't searched. Maybe I'll do that now. So anyway, it goes for about 15, 20 to uh, fifteen to twenty bucks. So this is the actual variety you want to get. So C H double I E and that's only on the two thousand and eight. So this one is dated two thousand and one, so this one's a bit earlier to actually get that. So anyway, I hope you like my presentation on Chilean coins. And uh I don't know went on a bit long, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and also check out my links below. I do have an affiliate link if you want to purchase Chilean coins and um, yeah, just keep on enjoying coin collecting. Thank you and bye bye.